This guy here, this, this is my friend, this is Sun Garden Man, and he is the mascot for the state of Maryland in terms of going out and educating the public about the importance of skin cancer awareness as well as prevention and protection. So uh, he's, he's my buddy in crime here. The first thing you might be mindful of is that just limiting your exposure to the sun. Um, you want to try to avoid being out in the hottest part of the day, midday, anywhere between uh, 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Um, and when you're out, you want to make sure that you have on protective clothing, you have on your sunscreen, uh, a, a wide brim hat, sunglasses, common sense kinds of things that you would do in order to protect your skin. Oftentimes you hear people talking about uh, a tan or a burn. Whether it's a sunburn or whether it's a tan, it's damage to your skin. The UVA rays still come through, even on an overcast day, so whether it's the spring, summer, or winter, you should be very careful and, and still use the same protective measures even on an overcast day because, again, the UVA rays do penetrate through. Anytime that you have a change in an in area or a spot on your skin, you should be very mindful of. Uh, but don't self-medicate. You should probably go to a um, dermatologist or at least speak with your primary care physician to make sure that the, the lesion or the spot is not changing in terms of the color, size, or shape. Anyone that's had more than one sunburn, even in their childhood, that increases their risk. So it's, it's really a matter of not getting into the habit of tanning or sunburns early on. The damage is already done.